When Chicago went into lockdown last March, March of 2020, um, the CTA made a commitment to keep all trains and buses running according to their regular scheduled service. And that was because we believed that all of the essential workers still needed to have access to affordable transit and reliable transit. We did see a very sharp drop in ridership. About four-fifths of our riders stopped riding. And even today, we're still seeing ridership down about 60% especially post-COVID, people are going to be testing out how they want to get around, making sure that they feel comfortable with whatever mode they choose. The discussions of the goal to fully electrify the bus fleet by 2040 were really inspired by a desire to make sure that the CTA is a leader among urban transit agencies across the country. As populations continue to increase, cities are going to be dense and um, and have urban air quality problems. I think the pandemic has really highlighted the challenge of air quality in urban areas and the fact that poor air quality does contribute to higher incidence of chronic respiratory illnesses. The areas of the city that have been hardest hit with COVID have been in minority and low income areas. So when we think about where we want to make the investment, we're looking at all of those factors and ensuring that the air quality improvements are happening in the neighborhoods that need the improvement the most. I think the question of local air quality is um, in many ways a, just a moral question. The fact is we've put enough carbon into the air that our planet will continue warming, but we need to bend that arc. And it's not a moment too soon to start doing that. And so if we can transition to a technology that improves our urban air, I think people have recognized with the pandemic that that's a benefit to everyone's overall health. We're creating a low carbon or no carbon opportunity for transportation around the city that's affordable and reliable and accessible to everyone.